Hey everybody, it's Echo. Welcome back to Echoia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this grass in Adobe Illustrator. This is the fastest and easiest way that I've ever seen grass made in Illustrator. I discovered this method last night when I was doing an Easter illustration and I am very excited to share it with all of you. So the first thing that we're going to do is use the star tool. And if yours has four or five or more points, just use the downward arrow key on your keyboard and it should go to a triangle after you clicked enough times. Now I'm going to hold shift to get a really good triangle and have it the bottom completely flat. I'm going to use the selection tool to get a bounding box on this and scale it around to how I want it to be. I'm also going to give it a fill color that is more grass like. I'm going to hold Control and press C for copy and then F for paste in front. And this is the way that I do this. I don't know how everyone does this. I think everyone has their own method, but I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and then I'm going to drag a rectangle to meet the center point of my second triangle. Hold Shift and grab the triangle so they're both selected. And in the Pathfinder window, go to minus front. And I'm going to set this front one to screen. So it creates a highlight on one side of my grass blade. Now in the brushes window, I'm going to click new brush. First, you want to make sure that you have both pieces selected. I'm going to click new brush, new art brush, click OK. Make sure that my arrow points in the same direction as the top of my grass blade. Select proportional and hue shift. Click OK and your new brush is created. Now we can delete the one that we were making with the filled shapes. We can use the line segment tool. Start at the bottom of your art, um, your artboard. Sorry, <laughs> my brain's in a couple different places right now. Click your brush to fill and then make sure that your opacity is set to normal because my art does not have basic appearance. It contain it keeps the same appearance as the last item. It, um, I do have to go and undo that when I start making the grass. So just hold shift and drag up and create line segments of varying heights. And now I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to select just a few of these. Hold down shift to add more to your selection and I'm going to select a few and give them a little bit of a darker fill. And then I'm going to select a few to give a lighter fill to also. Now I'm going to drag around them, control and C for copy, control and F for paste in front. Holding shift, I'm going to drag this over here, control C, control F. Just going to go ahead and fill the width of my artboard with these guys. Now I'm going to drag with the selection tool around all of them, Alt, Control, and B to create a blend. And I'm going to go to Effects, Distort, and Transform, Roughen, tick the preview box, and you'll see this doesn't look anything like grass at all. So the first thing we're going to do is change from corner to smooth points. And now we're going to drag this detail slider down to zero, and it starts to look like grass can change the size of the distortion of your blades of grass so that they have more swing to them. I kind of like them to have too much swing to them. And click OK. And there is your grass, you guys. This was really easy and I'm really excited about it because grass is not one of my favorite things to render in Illustrator or in any program. It There's a lot of different techniques that I've seen, but this one is the fastest and easiest that I've ever come across by far and I'm very pleased with it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you find it easy to understand and I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.